New research tells us uh, that GPs have concerns about how much time they can spend with patients. Uh, they simply do not have enough time, which in turn leads to potential misdiagnoses, delays in treatment and patient safety being affected. 94% of GPs surveyed felt that short appointment time were putting patients at risk. Uh, it's also affecting their mental health and um, a number of GPs that we surveyed are simply thinking of leaving the profession altogether or moving into private practice. I've been a GP for more than 10 years working in the northeast of the UK and I made a really difficult decision this year to leave clinical practice. Uh, it's very true to say that I absolutely loved my job, um, particularly the relationships of care that I built up with patients. The reason I made this decision to leave clinical practice was because I felt unable to give the level of care that I knew I was capable of giving. And that's due to a number of reasons and problems in the system itself. The major impact on GPs themselves is, is a rise in burnout and mental health problems and sadly a rise in doctor suicides, as well as huge numbers of doctors leaving the profession um, because they just don't feel that the system supports them and they don't feel, like myself, that they can practice safely anymore. It simply isn't possible to practice safely as a GP in a 10-minute appointment model. I want to give safe care and quality care, and that needs time. A minimum of 15 minutes is what we're looking for, but personally, I think 20 minutes would be an ideal amount of time. This needs to happen now, um, not in 2030, which is what the Royal College of GPs is currently recommending, but it's also the number of patients that we're expected to see. So you've got this combination of very little time and huge, huge demand on the system that means that GPs can sometimes be less seeing more than 50 or 60 patients in one day. And if we don't address those issues, patients and staff will continue to suffer the consequences.